Welcome to part 89 of Maryland's Pokemon Diamond Adventure. All right, so we're going to do something that is long, long overdue, and it's something that I actually really don't like. I never do this anytime I play Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I think it's probably one of the worst areas, and way back, I didn't even bother to do this in this series, so that's why I'm going to do it now, just because... I don't know. <laughs> it also would have been really difficult to record with a camera. I'm just going to say that. So we want to go down to Route 206. Yes, again, we're going to have this... What? This is the third time we've been down here to this little secret area. Let me put on a, uh, a Max Repel really fast. And something you want to make sure you have is the TM for Flash. You can get this in the basement of the Orberg Gate which actually has some more stuff. Wait a second. There's a tree you can cut down here? I never noticed that. I, I never noticed that. That's so wild. But yeah, you can also buy it in Veilstone City, and that's just fine. But you don't need it. It's just going to make things a lot smoother down here. Okay, so I showed you where to find Gibble. You can do that in this hidden area right here. Now, this is, of course, important. You need strength, and downstairs you can find TM26 as well as Gibble. Those are very good things. Those are awesome things. But the problem is, that's the secret area. There's this part here, this normal cave in the Wayward Cave. And this place is awful. <laughs> it's so boring. So as you can see, first and foremost, it is dark. It is really dark in here. And I'm going to tell you straight up, there's nothing exciting in the slightest as far as encounters here. You can visit here as soon as you get cut and go through a cycling road. Oh, I'm also getting rid of heal order, by the way. I need to upgrade the moves on my Pokemon. I want to do that at some point. I have a lot of TM moves that I've been saving for a very long time. And heal order, I'm just going to use potions, realistically, so there's no need for it. But yeah, you want to make sure you have a Pokemon with Flash here, because that will make it easier to see. But like I said, there's really nothing... Oh, you need Rock Smash as well. There's really nothing good in here. There's no good items, there's no good Pokemon, there's some boring trainers that you don't even need to fight. I guess you can get some money from them? There's a TM at the end that gives you double team, but you can buy that in the Veilstone game corner. So what's the point? I just, I never bother with this place. It's so boring. So we're just going to clear it out. Nothing should be a threat here. With Flash, with Max Repels, should be fine. We need Rock Smash. There's another reason why I don't like it. And you kind of want to make your way to the northeast corner. You do have to walk around a little bit in order to get it. Oh, an escape rope. Oh, thank goodness. Free me from this misery. But it is a little bit of a long route around, and I feel like I might have gone the wrong way somewhere. It's a winding cave. There's not really any good markings or directions. You're just kind of walking through, and it's, it's weird. I mean, if you can look up a map, look up a map, because it's pretty boring. What I will say is, as you move over this way, I think this leads you to some trainers, but we're going to save the trainers for a moment. There are quite a few trainers here, but I want to save them just for something kind of interesting in this place. But yeah, you want to go through ugh, breaking all of these rocks. Like, okay, I get it. I have Rock Smash. Is it really necessary to make me use it over and over again? There's also probably a lot of hidden items around, but I don't really care. I don't think any of them were that good. So all the way over here in this top right corner, the northeastern side, you'll find this poor little girl down here. Hi, Mira. I was catching Pokemon and then I got lost. I'm so scared. Please, please take me to the exit. Yeah, so unlike, you know, a lot of the, uh, the NPCs that join you, that, you know, they guide you as you're going through the area, you actually have to go and find her. I'll keep your Pokemon healthy all the time. Yeah, so, I mean, she does function like, you know, Cheryl 
or like Riley, where they'll follow you around, they'll heal up your Pokemon between fights, and they'll even take part in any, uh, any fights you run into that are double battles. Now, is she any good? Not really. I mean, she's not terrible. We'll find out. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna do one fight here, and then, honestly, I'm just going to speed this up to some jamming music, and I'll just show you kind of what's in here. Like I said, it's completely optional, and it's not even that interesting. In fact, looking at this fight, this is about as interesting as you'll see it. She has a Kadabra. It has a spoon. It's level 18. So, I mean, it's not bad. But, you know, it's a level 18 Kadabra. Do you really need it? Probably not. So, why? I mean, that's just the question. Why would you... Why would you want to go through here? And I don't really have a good answer. Now... You know, if there were somewhere she could go later, maybe that'd be okay, but I don't think anywhere was added until Platinum, where you can actually fight against her for stuff. I mean, you know, I don't know what Pokemon Platinum is. This is Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, of course. Yeah, Platinum hasn't been released yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I just, I don't really see a point. This is just, it's just pointless. So, rather than waste your time, I think you get the gist of it. Every fight, you'll heal up to full. There's just a bunch of kind of weak Pokemon. I mean, I guess they're at an okay level if you visit this during your first trip through. Like, then it's okay, but it's just... It's pointless! I just... I don't understand it! I, I just... I don't! It's just so boring, and this Kadabra isn't doing anything helpful. It's just being very flashy, I guess. Getting licked a few times. <laughs> this is very weird. Uh, okay, well, if you're not gonna help, I am. Yeah, she's not even being helpful. That's just kind of rude, actually. And that's her only Pokemon, too, so if it faints, you're on your own in any double battle, so that's definitely frustrating. Oh, now you use Shockwave. Why would you use it now? You're just... Oh, that's so unhelpful. So unhelpful. By the way, I don't know if I'll ever have another opportunity, but if you press start, it shows the HP, like the actual number. I don't think I ever mentioned that, at least not in Diamond or Pearl. All right, anyway, I'm not going to bore you with this. I think you get the idea. Let's, uh, let's get going.
All right, there we go, finally. Oh, there's the exit. I want to get tougher so I won't be such a scaredy cat. Devin, bye-bye, thank you. Yeah, I was also mistaken. She does actually show up to help you if you want a partner in the Battle Tower, which we haven't visited yet. And I guess she can use some pretty strong Pokemon there. So, I mean, if, if that's your cup of tea, then great. But I almost never bother with that, so... Yeah, but, you know, I, I guess that's... That's worthwhile. I mean, she uses Latios or Latias, potentially. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I want to check one more thing here. We're going back to Orberg City. Okay, so over in Orberg Gate, I know this is another place I've been to in the past. And there is the basement, of course, down here, which I'm pretty sure we've been to before. But there is something, uh, something you can do after you get strength, I believe it is. So after you have surf, you can actually surf over here. I think this completely skips the, uh, the whole bikes. Yeah, you don't even need the bicycle anymore, which is rather handy. But yeah, if you surf over here, there is this guy. And this is someone I actually forgot about earlier. I'm a veteran, yes, but don't you dare treat me like a senior citizen. Yeah, so he is, I believe, the only trainer in the game to actually feature a Riolu on his team. So I ended up hatching the Riolu that Riley gave me over on Iron Island. But if you don't feel like doing that, this is definitely faster. You can just visit this guy and see his Riolu and... Then, yeah, you have that for your Pokedex. Since you do need that for completing your Sinnoh Dex, at least, at least as far as Pokemon seen, in order to get the National Dex upgrade, I guess that will save some time. Other than that, I mean, he's got some pretty strong Pokemon on his team. He's got Staraptor, which I guess I'm thinking about it. Maybe I shouldn't be switching in Gojira here, just because that thing usually packs close combat. I want to give Gojira a rock slide. I think it's time. I, I'll i talk about this later for sure, but I really... I didn't want to ever use TM moves because they were so limited back in the day. And I wanted the ability to, you know, use them on certain Pokemon, perhaps for competitive or stuff like that. Like, you know, I didn't want to just use them in game. I wanted to save them. But yeah don't think that's a problem nowadays. Okay, so Graveler, I guess we'll send out Astro here. I guess I left Psyche behind. We kind of <laughs> needed the use of Fly here. That is the downside of not having anything with Fly, like, natively on my team, but eh, it's fine. If I don't think I'll need it for a while, like, the next place I'm thinking of going shouldn't need it. So I think we'll bring the whole squad. Yeah, he actually has some fairly tough Pokemon. Okay, and he gives a lot of money. Nice. Yeah, so that's a spot you can get Riolu. Now, like I said, you do need strength here as well. You can fight that guy without strength if you want, but you can't really get the reward over here. Unless you have it. And it's an Earth Plate, which... Hey, I guess that's pretty nice. Pretty nice indeed. And then, of course, you need Rock Smash and Strength and Surf in order to get over here, but it's, uh... Well, it's not really worth it, but it's still a, a TM. TM1, Focus Punch, which I guess isn't that bad. Who has an escape rope? I do! Ah, there we go. Okay, that pretty much does it for uh, for this. Next time, I think I'm going to go to another place that I almost never go to whenever I play Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. I'll see you next time, everyone.